as Twiz picks up Merc. So here we go. Nade shot and Scumpy trying to defend this bomb. Scumpy watching the flank. Nade shot here. It's going to be up to him to pick up this big kill. No, Blind Fire takes him out. It's up, up to Scumpy who does take out the bomb planner and takes out Blind Fire. So there you go. Big two piece they by Scumpy. About Scump, man. You can't forget about the Ginger Ninja, man, that just took care of business, picking up the two piece. Time was dwindling down, so they had to jump on and get the defeat. Uh, okay. He's about to shoot. He's going to shoot a truck with it, which is a good, it's a good thing to do because when you think about it, uh, all the grenades, oh my. It's, a, it's, actually, it's actually the smartest thing ever. It, I don't think, I don't know why, no one's ever thought about that. It's really like. Oh my God. Torque bows don't, aren't stopped by grenades. Like trophies don't counter that. So it's an explosive to blow up the car and get an easy kill off the rail around. That's a huge meta play by Clayster. My bad. I... Park right there. Yeah, is right. this yeah, going yeah. to happen, it's Revan? Is Killa going to get this one through, in? There's two players to beat from Optic. Big Timer on top street will get picked all up to Scumpy. Killa with protection. Scumpy awesome. shot going go. down. Seven oh, seconds. Oh, look at that. Big the for Big T. Nate shot is there. They Nate got Nate shot is there. They got the return. No way. Big what? Timer going huge. That's happening. No flag jacket from Killa. The car bomb explodes. They make the return. And Optic Gaming take out Unite one more time. For TCM, the Optic players are putting pressure on. You're going to have Merc and Nate shot just at the top of this staircase. And here we go. Flux going to have to maybe push here in a second. There's Nate shot peeking. Caught him. Looking for another one. Oh, and that's going to be Merc coming through. Picking up a big two piece. That's going to be on your round ending kill cam. Brycey, Merc going huge for Optic. Oh, yeah, like I say, just coming from the flank. Look at him. He's actually dodging the shot from Monkey there and then picking him up straight away after as he come around the other side. I think. The other player was about to finish him off anyway, but TCM uh, just got a little bit outplayed by Merck. Merck just went massive for Optic right there. Turn up! Come on! They're on the right street, Quick Deep! They're over there! We got yeah, they're here, they're here. I got Hard them point identified. I just down low! I just down low! I spawned up! I spawned here! One front, one front, 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 got me, front, got me. I got him, I got nice. him! Nice, good job, good job. Right. Right. Good job, good job. Let's go! Let's go! Now with control, desperately just trying to just get this game to the end. 208 points to 168. Nate shot with the kill. Can he find the second? Needs to dodge the nade. He has done throwing a semtex of his own. And Optic could actually win on this hard point. The knife oh. comes in from Nate shot. Takes down John from behind. He gets the turn on as well. Oh my god, Nate shot. What did you have for breakfast? Before we hit the 0 0 0 mark, Clayster continues to dominate it. He gets one, gets two. The FAL is on point. Revan, I think it's safe to say that he passes everyone else in my book. Clayster, the number one FAL player in the game. He takes the title, man. He's destroying it. Oh, and picks up Nate shot on the headshot. Starting to work for impact. Aix is going to get one, but Karma answers back. So it's three on two in favor of Impact. There is a flank, though. Clayster could potentially pick off two players. Unfortunately, will not get the angle. Another player picked off by Karma. He has all three kills so far. Going for the ace. All the shadow, and there oh. it is. Good job, Aix. Get ready for the next one. Karma's round. good with the snipes, too. He's good with the snipes. There's no doubt about it. He's Karma, been show, showing that all day. The Dallas MVP just opened up this game with an ace quiz. That is the type of play you need to get momentum in your favor. And look at his face. He acts like he does it every single day. No scope whatsoever for him. And you can see on your mini map the way that FaZe have set up. So clever. One watching one way, the other watching the opposite side. And if Clayster does this now, this would just be insane. Well, he's in the... Perfect position to do it. Check your corners. Find one. There goes Huddle. No. Let's go. Oh, oh my Clayster. The what? What? Going absolutely insane. Are you serious? Clayster is a freaking monster, man. 1v2 clutch. He's 4-1, 500 points. And we've seen that from Clayster before, especially at our Dallas Championship with that 1v3 against Impact. Now a 1v2 here against FaZe. How is that even possible? It's Clayster. That's how. And now it's all up to Aix, the captain of complexity. We saw Krim get the one on three. Aix now needs a one on two. First off, great decision from Optic right there. As soon as they had Crimsic zoned out, 
They forced the 2v1, but Ake saw the rotation from Optic. Going to the A bomb site. One's going for the bomb plant. Good fight, J-Cap here on the bridge. Nice. Shots, takes out, come. Fight J-Cap on the bridge. Ake's trying to pick up a kill for the 1v2. Trying to keep complexity alive here on Express Search and Stray. We'll try to run away, fight from position over near the hedge. Here comes J-Cap from the train, though. J-Cap versus Ake's, and all the pressure's on J-Cap oh, here. Ake's playing it perfectly. Don't engage. Make him go for the plant. Now Ake's knows he needs to go. Is he too late in transition oh, to catch the carrier? J-Cap, uh -oh, did he get away? Him. The ninja J-Cap here is going to come down to one final fight. Oh, Ake's finds and picks up the kill. Ake's with the 1v2 clutch. Complexity winning their fourth oh. straight round. Ake's will let him know about that one. Follows up Crim6 is 1v3 with a 1v2. Gucci trying to make something happen. He's in go actually he's gonna go top shot now. I like this play from him. If he jumps out now, Hellstrom's gonna be coming in. It's point, but the lightning strike still remains. And with just 20 seconds remaining, this, this is clutch time. He gets oh. shut down. Nifty last alive. And he's I gotta think, do it. I, he's I, gotta do it. Nifty could get if Nifty does. He wins the gunfight! Oh my god, he won the gunfight! Nifty's making his way down! If he caps it, if he's going to lose his bracket! Five seconds up! No! Let's go! Let's go! just made the biggest clutch ever! Oh my god, Envy is going to the loser's bracket, ladies and gentlemen! Oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta give it up for that kid! I gotta give it up! Sorry, the B-bomb side. Here comes the smoke, and now the plant. TP needs that, but look at Optic Gaming adapting all those blue oh, arrows. They, but out. they saw the smoke, they knew Bomb it was coming. Bomb is gonna go down, Bomb is gonna go it. down. It is about to go down. Four seconds left. What can Optic Gaming do? Complexity have done so well to get that bomb down. TP's gonna be on the screen here. As you can see, three members of Optic Gaming all crowding around this B-Bomb site. TP's gonna do everything that he can. TP's gonna put some shots down. He's gonna be able to take one out. No, Big he does timer. not. Big T's gonna be there for the clutch. I see him. Big T can continue to follow this one up, but Crimsix is gonna be there to take out Nate's shot. It is gonna be a 3v3, and Big T's gonna have that assistance here from Scum, but now it is gonna come down to Ace, hey, and down. Optic Gaming is moving on. on. They're moving on to the top three. Oh my God, Benson. Scumpy with the three-piece, when it matters most, that oh. is why we call him one of the best players on the game right there. Oh my forget, god. Forget he was playing. He had two kills before this round. <laughs> he just hit three. Wow. Oh my the lord. The ninja ninja with you the kills. Couldn't. Scumpy just goes big. Look at that kill come. Look at it. Look that at is, it. Bow down ridiculous. before this young man. Things are looking good for Optic. They got three players, three kills, all inside the hard point. I love Nate Shot's opening right there. Jumping off the map and immediately throws a flashbang right where Unite is walking above that middle staircase. If you don't have tactical mask on, you're not going to be able to see a thing. Great start by Nate Shot. He's still on your screen. He's inside the hard point right now. Optic, they already have 25 points. Nate Shot still picked up the kills. Just picked up his, all his score streaks already. 40 seconds being played. Great juggle there from Nate Shot. Optic Gaming, I may have to take back how much they want it because they are just playing like this is the only thing that is keeping them alive. 31 seconds on the scoreboard, and that number keeps counting. Now we finally have Slack contesting, and he is just quickly eliminated. Nate shot. Check the stats for a second, Rev. What is he doing? Seven and one, and that one was a suicide. You know, usually the players you want to avoid on Optic are Big Timer and Merc. Right now, you don't want to go anywhere near Nate shot. He's not missing a shot right now. Optic, they have a commanding lead off the start of this game. They say they're tournament players, they say they're land players, and they are showing off themselves at the top of their game. We get it, we get it. The two, the two in the corner. They're gonna go, just rotate, guys, just rotate. Give it up, just give it up. All right. Good job. All right, if you can get that time, that's huge. Shit, so, boy, let's go! Go, and Optic Gaming, Hastro. It is mathematically impossible for Envy to move on. Kill number three, the last one alive, Crim6. This is game number two for Optic. If they can finish the round, Crim gets one though. Staying alive, 49 seconds left on the clock. The fans having to sit back down in their seat for a moment. Yet yeah, J-Cap and Nate Shot left alive for Optic Game, then they're just gonna play this one together. The bomb has been dropped over near the middle ticket booth, so Crim6 has a ways to go before he makes his way for a round one. But you see the Optic guys, clock about to they're right next to each other. So patient is Crim6. 
But he is going to be called out. Catch oh. a day shot in, oh, in transition. One more player. Can Krim get the one on three? Oh, he's fighting shot him fired. Oh, oh, Chris Six, Krim. Krim Six with the one on three clutch complexity. Staying alive here on Express Search and Destroy. Take a look at this in slow motion. They were down 5-0. Winning three straight rounds. This was all but over, but Krim in the one on three. Looks like he's going to try to move it in and take that Danger player one more time. Sees him at the balcony, but he needs to watch out for the other players. Takes out Complex. He looks at that player from the face. He knows that they're going to be up the launch side. He picks up three. Can he get the fourth? Not just yet, but talking a bit more about the play. Dunking down behind. Oh, there you go. He there picks it up is. Complex. Placer, he's on the roll. And those players are spawning right there. Placer having the opportunity. Yeah, nice play there off the off the get-go. That was a really quick and aggressive play by both teams. And now only Clayster is up for Unite. So for Rico playing oh. this one. Oh, bam! Woo! Karma felt that one. The hands of Clayster taking him out with the DSR. Pulls out the cap 40, and now he's going to try to be a hero this game. Has Clayster always been this good with the sniper? No, I don't believe he has, to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever seen him pull it out on any of our pro scrims. He's been using it all tournament long, and he's doing phenomenal work. He needs to start going on YouTube, doing, you know, 360 YY ladder. No, 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 no scope! Take a seat, killing the last player! Oh 25 seconds goodness. left on the clock. Clayster is going for the bomb. He's about to find a player. Oh. Oh my goodness. It is a cap 40 versus an SFG, and Clayster oh is going one on one versus oh. Parasite. And oh my Clayster! What a kill! The 3v1 clutch, the last member alive, dodging behind the pillars. He is going to finish with a cap 40 headshot. Take it down, Parasite. They're going to try to push it. Smart move by Curse. Really, all they can do is try to push this Optic Squad blind fire. Takes out big timer. Scumpy comes around, and Curse. Handling the situation great. Nate shot also gets taken out. Bomb time dwindling down. Merck's gonna oh! go up there. Comes up there! Oh, oh, with oh, a oh. huge three piece. Oh, what a play. He's standing up and giving the crowd some love. Massive play by Optic Merck. Look at this jump shot to wow, finish it off. One of the best All three in the kill games. cam. I mean, that was absolutely amazing by Merck. <laughs> He's fired up. The Optic Gaming Squad's fired up, and that was just massive. Hill streak. He will not be far off a of hellstorm. Miss out, which he may get. Please, please, pl <gasps> no, <laughs> no, Karma, Karma, please do it to him. Please do it to him. Please do it to him. There's three of them. They're all inside the generator. Karma, go for the ninja defuse. Forty-five percent of the way through. No, no one's checking no, the bomb. No. Karma, yes. Oh, oh my yes, the ninja defuse. Oh my Karma. Ridiculous. What have we just seen? <laughs> oh the confidence. The confidence to oh do that at this stage in the tournament. God. This is absolutely unreal. Look at the crowd reaction. <laughs> Karma is going to let everybody know about that. That was a ridiculously reckless rush from Envy. And oh my God, what have we just witnessed? We're on board with the man who dropped 41 kills and game number six. Clayster was absolutely going nuts with his M8. Let's see what he can do at the start. The answer is not much, but eggs. He's gonna say, I'll do it all, man. I got the three, make it four kills at the start. He's already two and a half kills away from Jeez. getting his score streak. I mean, Aegs, talk about coming out the gate strong here. Wow. And complexity as a whole. First movers to that hard point have been holding it down. Now they just gotta keep defending it as impact starting to get in there. Aegs, uh, pick, uh, pick, he's on a roll. He's there on his lightning strike. I, I mean, this guy is on fire here. I mean, you got to stay on top of him. I love what Ix is allowed what? to do as well. He's got the war what? machine to open this game. How can we not go full screen with it? It's 2v2, slacked and spacely for FaZe, trying to work this bombsite. 27 seconds, still plenty of time. If they can try and get a few kills, someone right at the very back towards the elevator. Slack's going to have to rush him. Hasn't got much choice. Is the kill going to come down? Oh, just Krim, works. Krim turns on him. Now it's going to be spacely a one versus one against Krim. Can he find the kill? He's no. going behind him. 30 Krim, seconds left. No. He's there, and Krim 6 goes big! Oh my, Krim with the jukes! What? Did you see that? That was just juke central from Krim 6! Doing the merry-go-round along with Space says, What's up, bro? Krim by in full effect here. The two, one on two clutch. Alas, complexity to take map number two. And Clayster, he finishes on top of the score for complex point to get in because there is only two entry points and you can lock him down with the shotgun, which is why Fariko abandoned the hard point to get down here. Yeah, this is why Parasite is one of the best hard point players in the game. That knowledge to just back off, to set up on this next hard point is going to give them two score streaks for Parasite. Is he going to get a third kill? Yes, he's, he's going to get the 
the full as well. Oh, Huge play from Parasite with the shotgun. This is what we said before the map side. Oh He's going to continue this rampage as well. Oh One more. One streak. He's on the ninth oh streak. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Parasite. Unite have well over 10, so they're doing work inside the hard point, and that's reflected in the overall score. Scuffy with a nice two. Gonna light up Parasite, gets the assist there as Big T is gonna secure the hard point. 174 to 90, three minutes, 30 seconds left on the clock. Optic is not out by any means, and Scumpy, he is doing the dirty work, getting this bricks cut off. Look how far away the Unite team is spawning. If they can get this hill and the next one, they'll be right back in it. In fact, they can take the lead on this on this garage hardpoint. And point. these are the last two hardpoints where we see teams make these late game comebacks. If Optic are able to hold on to the time and earn themselves some score chase, they're going to put themselves in a great position as Skump because he's currently on a five kill spree. And that was a big play too from Skumpy because that player was going to call down a score streak. It looked like Skumpy with another kill on Killa. Look at your scoreboard, 174 to 125. They make it a 50 point game. Optic on the comeback, Skumpy on the six kill spree leading the way. Skump needs to get these. Capture points on the hard point. If he jumps in there, he would have earned himself the lightning strike, but he's using to stay alive over near Greenberg. Gets taken out just short of the lightning strike, but that Hellstorm missile, it's going to be so useful on the next hard point. Oh, yeah, that center hard point. The Hellstorm can do so much damage. Scumpy needing to go big here. Two players to the front, and he gets up both. Parasite drop. Rickney is dropped, and Scump looking for players trying to challenge the anchor, but no. Unite, they're spawning across the map. Pushing from blue, Optic is in a fantastic position here. Yeah, you see on the main map, Unite Gaming, they're still trying to flip the spawns, which I don't agree with. Clearly, Optic, they've held others hard point. They're going to take the lead in this game. Unite Gaming need to cut their losses, rotate to the middle oh hard point, goodness. and make their stand there. I cannot believe what Optic has done on these back hard points. Look at your scoreboard, Revan. But he did get the positions. Fix one, looking for Ricky inside the hard point. Can he get him? Ricky doing a fantastic job staying alive. Finally cleaned up. And your score it is with 15 now. 189 to 176 and counting. And Scump is getting cross map kills with the Scorpion. Yeah, so close to even more score tricks. If he drops back, tries to fight for position at the next one. Oh, with that kill, he gets him anyway. Taking out Nameless that one. He's not done just yet. Trying to earn himself the war machine, and he gets it. Oh my, Scumpy! Fully streaked out the crowd here in Winter Park, Florida. Going insane. Four, four to three. I'm interested, and let's go for the listening now. Russian, you're Russian, you're Russian, you're Russian, you're Russian. Damn, he got me. He's pushed back, he pushed back, he's on the stairs. They're first hallway, he's one shot, he's one shot. They're first hallway, they're first hallway, they're first hallway. They're first hallway, they're first hallway. This monster base is the best. He's the best. Fuck, he's the best. He's the best. Let's go over to the guys from Enigma as they'll have initial top control. So you know, Sal is trying to hold down the middle there. He's just playing defensive. They know they're in a little bit of trouble here. They need to get some points back on the board. And here comes the score streaks. And he doesn't manage to dodge any of this. Oh, Karma four. picks up three. Just all of Enigma shut down there. Nothing they can do. And now they've been pushed completely out of the half point. And look at Karma. He knew where the spawn was going to be. Throws in early Semtex. Taken fire from the church. Still survives it puts pressure on that player. They're going to leave just Rambo up top in the hard point, but they're going to be happy to give up these last 23 seconds. They're up 76 to 30. Enigma's going to finish this hill with about 50 seconds, but they'll be set up with the spawn control, and it's going to be Proofy's job to fend off Black. If Black can get behind Proofy, Enigma can flip this, but already Envy has the spawn rotation. And this is dangerous. So many people know if you can get into this hard point first, it's so hard to dig the other team out, and Enigma have a huge battle. But there we go. Black managed to get the first kill, and they now might be in a good position to try and flip them out, but they still have to fight in. And Karma takes down one in the hill, and he takes down two in the hill, and now Black has to try and do something. He's changed it around, but they're still in there. Karma picking up another kill. The man is going off. He's on a nine streak at the moment, and somebody stop him. This is the Karma we know and love in the double digits now on the streak. Fully streaked out. War Machine in hand, but he knows there's going to be Flak Jackets heading his way. 30 seconds left, and he is going to try and keep control with this Scorpion, dodging the frag grenades. you got to love the positioning here from Envy. They have one player watching the window. Karma was watching the side door. The window man goes down, but Karma deals with it. <laughs> Easy pick as he's going to take down Luke for his 11th kill in this spree. Take a look at the scoreboard. 18-5 and five from Karma to open things up. Now, Enigma are in serious trouble. There is no win for them here. Like 
that was about to come in. Even though they rotated, they're just going to get slapped out of it. There is too many score streaks now in play. Karma is going to come through, and it's just going to allow Envy to just push through and do what they like. However, Sauer's arms is back with a double kill, but Karma comes right back, and he's just breaking them apart. Yeah, Karma with another perfect rotation takes out Black. The Hellstorm going to do damage here, forcing players into purple. Unfortunately, takes out his teammate Ray, but Ray wasn't anywhere near that hard point quite yet. Gets a preferred spawn up top, and I like this this play from Karma. He's not going to challenge from the top as expected. He's going to try and push in from the window with the War Machine. Doesn't connect on the first one. Switches out for the Scorpion, and here comes the damage. Karma <laughs> on a 15, make it 16 kill spree. Going huge for Envy, showing that he is still wanting to be considered the best player in Black Ops 2. That is a ridiculous guy. You cannot allow a guy to go on a 70s, 18 kill streak. What is he? That is, is he's, he's doubled up on the War Machine. Doubled up on the War Machine, going for all the kills with his weapons. Very few kills. Oh no, he's from about to he's about to double up. He's double up on the lightning strike and, and everything there it else. Is. Fully flushed there we go. out, doubling up, dropping the Hellstorm now. Knows that the lightning straight. strike is coming down. He is going to be going for 20. Can he get it? Look at these kills. 21, <laughs> 3, 3, 3. What a ridiculous. This is 30 How? straight kills for Envy without anyone oh from Enigma God. fighting back. This is just oh. getting bloody. 23 How? kill streak. This is somebody, the biggest streak we have ever this seen. Man. It's going to take someone pulling his power cord out at the moment to stop him as nothing seems to be hitting Karma as he takes down another two. If this was a pub, he would have a swarm right now. 25 straight kills without dying for are Karma. You, are you serious? Who puts that kind of... This is an international champion of the best teams in the world and he's making it seem like these guys don't even have hands. What is he doing? Dropping down the Hellstorm. Still has the lightning strike. Still has the war machine. He's about to double... That's the only reason he called the Hellstorm. <laughs> Another lightning strike. His third oh. Hellstorm. And he's finally going to be cut down after 27 straight kills, I believe.